They are relaxed and open shrines dedicated to these beings were constructed on the slopes of the Renzori Mountain. Reflecting the importance of hunting and offerings in Bakanjo society, hunting was a central activity providing both sport and sustenance. Skilled hunters held esteemed positions and organized hunting troops observed rituals to ensure success and protection from spirits. The Bakanjo communicated Sikuru whistling as agriculturists are aged, such as matoke, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans, supplemented by coffee and cotton cultivation. Goats, sheep, and fowls are also reared, and the community initially relied on subsistence production, complemented by hunted by hunting and fishing on Lakes Edward and George. The region's natural beauty, characterized by the presence of the two unique game parks, enhances the tourist experience. Queen Elizabeth National Park Renowned for its available ice, ice, sorry, allowing visitors to witness a diverse array of animals in their natural habitat. The boat cruise on Lake Edward and Lake George adds another dimension to wildlife viewing, providing a unique perspective from the water. The Bakanjo's agricultural practices have evolved over time, with the cultivation of staple crops like matoke, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans forming the backbone of their sustenance. As the community economic, economic, the economic dynamics but also underscored their adaptability to external influences. The introduction of cash crops likely brought about shifts in trading patterns and economic interactions with neighboring communities. In addition to their agrarian pursuits, the Bakanjo engage in animal husbandry rearing goats, sheep, and fowls. This diversified approach to livelihoods, a more comprehensive food supply, but also contributes to the economic routine. The community, navigating the challenges of their environment. Hunting. Hunting, a traditional practice among the Bakanjo, holds cultural and practical significance. While it serves as a recreational sport, it is primarily a vital source of food for the community. Skilled hunters, occupying esteemed positions, are indicative of the importance placed on hunting prowess. The use of various instruments, including spears, hunting nets, Bows and arrows, under ropes, under sunders, to 60 people, highlight the communal aspect of Bakanjo society. Rules and regulations governing hunting expeditions, as well as the equitable sharing of meat, demonstrate the importance of community cohesion. The practice of offering supplications and sacrifices to Kalaisa and Nyabalika before a hunting expedition underscores the spiritual connection between the Bakanjo and their environment. The construction of bamboo jewels, the Bakanji canting rituals, communication through whistling, passed down from father to son, adds another layer to their cultural tapestry. This method, deeply penetrating and yet peculiar to the Bakanjo, served practical purposes during activities like hunting, 
enabling them to convey messages across considerable distances. The exclusivity of this communication method with indication, certain cultural practices and beliefs are going to tranquil groups or fading away. The influence of education alongside changing societal norms and external factors like the risk of head infection has led to the decline of some rituals such as the Ohasa ceremony. However, the resilience of certain traditions among the Bakanjo reflects the complex interplay between preserving cultural heritage and adapting communication methods. Their adaptability and resilience and unique communication methods underscore their ability to navigate the delicate balance between tradition and change, providing a fascinating glimpse into the cultural mosaic of this vibrant community in the foothills of the mountains. The Bacanzo Culture Adventure This multifaceted journey not only invites tourists in. The Bacanzo Culture Adventure The multifaceted journey not only invites tourists to witness the beauty of the Bacanzo tribes is the impossible tourable Bacanzo Orchid. Identity is further enriched by their spiritual beliefs, where two supreme beings, Kalesa and Nyabarika, play integral roles. Kalesa, depicted as a monster with unique physical attributes, hold significance in the context of hunting, a cherished occupation among the Bakanjo. Nabarika, on the other hand, is believed to possess unparalleled spiritual power, influencing aspects such as healing fertility and the success of hunting expeditions. The Kanduka and the Kanduka the Kanjo maintain with their natural surroundings. The elaborate rituals associated with hunting among the Bakanjo reflect not only a means of sustenance, but a profound cultural practice. The use of spears, nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, showcases the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal aspect of hunting troops governed by rules and rituals, including offerings and protective measures against angry sheikh, practice. The Bakanjo's agricultural practices also embody a harmonious relationship with the land. The cultivation of crops such as matoke, yams, and cassava sustains the community's nutritional needs, while the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflects adaptation to changing economic landscapes. The coexistence of agriculture contributing to the resilience of their community the practice of early marriage of the Kanjo society. While some traditions, like the exchange of gifts to signify interest in a newborn girl, have evolved with time, others, such as the emphasis on circumcision as a rite of passage, remain deeply entrenched. The complexities of marriage negotiations, including bride wealth obligations and the rare occurrence of divorce, reveal the importance placed on societal norms and family stra conjo 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 di traditional communication methods. However, 
the enduring presence of age, old customs, the continued reverence for spiritual beings, and the preservation of unique forms of communication demonstrate the community's commitment to maintaining its cultural heritage amidst the currents of change. In conclusion, the Bakanjo people present a captivating cultural narrative shaped by the interplay of apt external influences while preserving core elements of their identity highlights the Baraitasalpatiasas dynamic nature of their cultural heritage. As the Bakanjo navigate the challenges of a changing world, their rich tapestry of traditions remains a testament to the resilience and vitality of this unique community in the mountainous terrain of East Africa. Within the Bakanzo settlements, 